Um, it's a little sore. Um, you know, I did everything I could to go back in there. Um, didn't feel like I could move around or, or uh, really push off of it. So that was kind of the decision that was made in the in the tent. You mentioned to us on, on Friday that you wanted to feel safe and protect yourself. At what point in the process, later Friday, Saturday, this this morning, did you sort of feel like okay, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get the odds like this on how I want to feel? Um, I think it was probably Saturday morning. Uh, got to the walkthrough and was able to kind of move around better. Um, you know, put some tennis shoes on and, and really kind of tested it out. Um, then went out this again this morning. Made sure it was okay. Um, felt comfortable going out there. Just um, on the hit, was that really what it was, or was it a sort of an accumulation of hits? It was really just that specific play. It had been getting sore up until that point, and then you know I think that play. Um, you know, I, I can't really remember what exactly happened to it, but it must have got twisted up again. Um, you know, kind of stood back up, realized that I couldn't really move too great off of it, um, got to the sideline and, and talked about that in, in the tent. Justin, what do you kind of go through the process of wanting to be out there and wanting to play versus um, knowing that this is happening and not wanting it to continue to drag through the season? Yeah, you know, my responsibility as a quarterback is, is to, to give everything that I can to this team, to my teammates, and, um, you know, I, I felt like I did that. I, I pushed myself and um, I couldn't go anymore, and, and I, I had a tough time walking on it, moving on it, pushing off of it, and I knew that Taylor gave us a, a better shot to win, and that's why we believe in him to go out there, and that's why you have guys like that on your team. Um, you know, I'm going to do everything I can to get back, um, get this thing healthy, and so we can keep rolling. Did halftime kind of mess with your – I mean, because we saw you activating before the game, warming up, doing all the stretching and the jogging and everything. Did that – Yeah, I, I think that can definitely play a factor into it. You know, you, you get off your feet and uh, you, you've played an entire half of moving around and getting the blood flowing. Um, but uh, I did my best to, to come back out after halftime, get the thing warm back, warm backed up. Um, but uh, you know, it was I think ultimately that hit, a couple of hits before, just kind of built into it. Is it uh, does it feel worse now than it did after after Sunday, like Monday after the Panthers game? Yeah, um, yeah, that's a good question. You know, I, I guess that's something that we'll we'll wait to see. Um, I was able to finish the game, you know, last Sunday, um, so that's definitely something to look at. But uh, I know that uh, we got the right training staff in there, we got the right medical doctors, um, so we're gonna do everything we can to to get this thing going. Um, but we'll see tomorrow. Justin, a few of your teammates commended your effort for kind of taking it to shot the way you did. Um, do, do you feel that? Do you feel that sort of motivational, you know, um, effort that your teammates take from? Um, you know, I, I think it's my job. I think it's my, my job to go out there and, and give everything that I've got. And I know that everyone on defense, offense, special teams, they do the same. And so when you get a locker room like that, um, we believe each other. And uh, I know that everyone's hurting out there, uh, not the way that we wanted this one to go down. Um, but uh, we'll get back to work, and uh, we'll get it figured out. How did you feel in the first half? It was good. Did you, uh, did you get x-rays done today? Uh, yeah, uh, a few minutes ago. Um, no, I, I think they're just waiting on the MRI. I, I, I don't know the exact uh, results of the, the x-rays, um, but uh, it's just something that I'll get done in the next couple of days. Knowing what you went through this week to get to game day and be able to start, do you feel optimistic that you'll be able to do the same thing for next week? Yeah, I'm, hope I'm, I'm hopeful. Um, you know, like I said, you know, we've got great team doctors, great athletic trainers, um, and as long as we're communicating, working together, um, I know that I'll feel, feel comfortable, safe going out there, and um, they've got my best interest in mind. I have not. And uh, just to be clear, it's, it's like an aggravation of the same thing you were dealing with. It's not like a separate injury. I would assume. I would assume so. Um, you know, I, I think it's just a continuation of last week's. What were your conversations with Taylor like after he got hurt? It's just being supportive. You know, to to go out there and, and play his best ball, and we all believe in him, and and we know that he's the he's the right guy when he goes out there.